Welcome to Engineers Academy. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to receive the notification for the upcoming videos. Now we are going to solve this problem 283. So it says that where does the resultant of the two forces act? So where is the resultant of these two forces act if these two forces are producing moment above this point A, right? So we need to find the resultant location from this point A. So first what we will do, we will find the resultant, right? So the resultant resultant will be equal to summation of all forces and the horizontal component of resultant should be equal to the summation of all forces along x, right? So Rx. So here we can see that there is no force or no component along x. So this means that Rx is equal to 0 in this case, right? And similarly, we will find Ry, so it will be equal to summation of all forces along y. So, if this is the positive x direction and this is the positive y direction, so we can see that 660 Newton is in the positive y direction, so I will write 660 minus 680. So, Ry will be equal to minus 20 Newton, right? So, minus 20 means that Ry is in the negative y direction, right? So this is, the, and if you want to find the magnitude of R, so R will be equal to Rx square plus Ry square under the root 2, right? So Rx is 0 and this is minus 20 Newton, so the R magnitude will be equal to 20 Newtons, right? So this is the magnitude. Now we will find the total moment about A, right? So we will find the moment about here, right? So this is let's suppose point A. So we will find the moment about A. So the moment about A will be equal to the moment produced by these two forces, right? So now as we can see that this 60 new, 660 Newton is producing moment about A in the clockwise direction, right? And this 680 Newton uh, force is producing moment about A in the counterclockwise direction, right? So let's assume that the counterclockwise direction is positive, right? So this is positive. So 680 into the perpendicular distance. So the perpendicular distance of 680 from this point A is 800 mm. So I will write 800, right? And this is producing counterclockwise moment. So I, I wrote here as positive and similarly the other force is producing the clockwise moment. So that will be minus and it will be 660 and the perpendicular distance of this 660 from point A is 500 mm, right? So when we solve this, we will get the total moment about A. So it comes out to be 214000 and it will be Newton mm, right? So this is the moment about A. So now if we replace these two forces by a force coupled system at this point O, so let me draw that free body diagram. So let's suppose if this is positive x axis and this is positive y axis and let's suppose that this is that length. This is their support, right? So let's suppose if this is their support and this point is A, right? So now what we will do is that we will represent this uh, force and couple, right? So here, so let me draw that force. So this will be that force vertically acting vertically downward, right? So this will be the resultant. And the magnitude of this resultant is 20 newtons, right? And similarly, the moment. And this moment is, if since it is positive, so this means that this moment is counterclockwise moment, right? So how I will represent that moment as well. So I will draw that moment like this. So this is the moment about A and its magnitude is this much. Now what we will do is that we will replace this force couple system by a single force and we will find the distance of this resultant from this point A in order to produce this same moment, right? So how to do it? So we will write R and the distance from A, R into D and this should be equal to MA. And remember that we will always use the magnitude of the moment, right? So we will not consider the direction in this equation, right? Always remember in the previous problems I have used the direction, but it will be 
good if you people use the magnitude, right? So always use the magnitude of the moment at this in this equation. Let's suppose if this is the third equation, right? So we we need to find this d distance. So d will be equal to moment about a. So it will be two one four zero 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 divided by r. So r is twenty. So this will give us d in mm, right? So D comes out to be ten thousand seven hundred mm, right? And if I divide it this by thousand, so we will get ten point seven meters, and it will be from point A towards left. Why? If we apply, if we move this force, now if I represent this force. Now, if we will, if we represent this force coupled system by that single force, so what we will do? I will remove these uh, moments, so I will remove these, right? And what I will do? I will move this force I will move this force in ten point uh, seven meters from A, and it will produce the counterclockwise moment, right? So if I move it in the in this direction towards the left, so it is producing the counterclockwise moment, and if I move it in this direction, let's suppose if I place it here somewhere. So now, as we can see that this force is producing clockwise moment, and as we have calculated that this resultant will be producing this much moment in the counterclockwise direction. So that is why here I have written this that from point A towards left, we cannot place this force 10.7 meters towards the right of A, since it will produce the clockwise moment. So what we will do, we will move this force along A in the negative x direction, and the distance of this force will be 10.7 meters from A. Let's suppose if that if this location is If this distance is 10.7 meters, right? So if this distance, let's suppose if this distance is 10.7 meters, right? So this is the solution of this problem. So what we did is that we have replaced these two forces by this single resultant, and we found the The perpendicular distance of this r from point A, right? And the magnitude of this r is 20 newton, right? And the direction is represented by this arrow. So this is the solution of this problem.